Imagine a city transformed Sydney, Australia, is on the cusp of a historic aviation revolution with the rise of its newest mega airport. Let's dive into the details. This PS2.7 billion behemoth, christened Western Sydney International Nancy Bird Walton Airport, is set to reshape the region's travel and economic landscape. Slated for a late 2026 opening, the airport boasts a 3.7 km runway, a terminal mirroring Australia's unique environment, and the capacity to serve a staggering 10 million passengers annually in its first phase. Yet, the most ambitious part of this project is the earthworks, shifting over 26 million cubic meters of earth. Could this be the most impressive feat of engineering Australia has ever seen? Sydney is a thriving city constantly buzzing with activity, but beneath its modern facade lies a hidden challenge its current airport, Kingsford Smith, is bursting at the seams. Originally opened in 1919, it's a pioneer in the aviation world. However, its prime location just 8 km south of the Sydney CBD is now its Achilles heel. Imagine yourself standing in the heart of Sydney. If you look directly east, you'd see the sparkling waters of Botany Bay. Now turn south and head towards the bay. Kingsford Smith Airport sits nestled right there, hemmed in on three sides by urban sprawl. To the north, you'll find the bustling suburbs of Mascot and Botany. Look west and you'll see Alexandria and Kingsgrove, equally dense with residential and commercial areas. This central location, once considered convenient, has become a major bottleneck. Expanding the airport outward is nearly impossible. Eastward expansion means reclaiming land from Botany Bay, a complex and expensive feat. North, south, and west are simply out of the question due to existing neighborhoods. The limitations of Kingsford Smith became evident in the 1960s, prompting the search for a second airport. Fast forward to 1986, and the Australian government identified Badgeries Creek, 44 km west of the Sydney CBD, as the golden ticket. This is Sydney if you placed your finger on it and traced a straight line west for about 27 miles, you'd land right on Badgeries Creek. This vast, undeveloped area offered a breath of fresh air space for a brand new airport without the constraints of a crowded city center. However, plans took a detour in 1991. The government opted to expand Kingsford Smith instead, constructing a third runway by reclaiming land from Botany Bay. This third runway opened in 1994, temporarily easing the pressure, but it was a short-term fix. Sydney's growth continued, and by 2008, it was clear Kingsford Smith would reach capacity by 2030. Adding to the challenge were strict nighttime flight restrictions, further limiting the airport's potential. Realizing the limitations of this approach, the government revisited the idea of a second airport in 2008. Extensive studies were conducted, and in 2012, a report definitively declared Badgeris Creek as the best location. Finally, in 2014, the government officially announced that a new state-of-the-art airport would rise in Badgeris Creek. Construction commenced in 2018, marking the beginning of a new chapter in Sydney's aviation history. But the story doesn't end there. In 2019, the new airport received a special honor. To celebrate the achievements of Australian aviation, it was named after Nancy Bird Walton, a legendary aviator who broke numerous barriers throughout her career. The airport is being built in phases, with the initial plan estimated to cost a staggering $2.4 billion Australian dollars, targeting completion by 2025. However, this estimate was calculated back in 2012, and with the scale of this project, it's safe to say that the budget has likely climbed since. Picture this a vast expanse of 1,780 hectares, making this site almost twice the size of the existing Kingsford Smith Airport. The centerpiece is the 3.7 km runway, a titan of modern aviation designed to handle a full range of commercial aircraft. Now picture fog rolling in. Unlike Kingsford Smith, the new airport won't be silenced by thick weather. It will be equipped with cutting-edge CAT, IIB navigation systems, ensuring safe landings with visibility as low as 50 meters. Day or night, rain or shine, flights will continue thanks to the airport's unrestricted 24-hour operation. Stage one of this ambitious scheme will transform the site to handle 10 million passengers annually. This is just the beginning. Further expansions could bring this capacity to a mind-boggling 80 million passengers by 2060. But it's not just about passengers. The airport will establish itself as a major air cargo hub. The heart of the airport, the terminal, is a design marvel inspired by the stunning Australian landscape. 
It's designed to become an iconic landmark in its own right, covering a sprawling 990,000 square meters of internal floor area. It promises passengers a seamless and unforgettable travel experience. Before any of this could even begin, a monumental undertaking was necessary the largest earth-moving project ever seen in Australia. To prepare for construction, over 25 million cubic meters of earth were moved and meticulously placed. At peak operation, more than 250 heavy earth-moving machines worked the site, shifting approximately a million cubic meters each month. Currently, progress stands at a remarkable three-quarters completion. The project remains firmly on schedule and within budget. The runway pavement alone required a staggering 120,000 cubic meters of concrete and asphalt. To ensure aircraft safety, over 3,000 specialized aeronautical ground lights were installed. Supporting the airport operations is a network of 90 km of power and fiber optic cables. If that's not impressive enough, the airport perimeter features over 40 km of roads, runways and taxiways, the backbone of its seamless operation. Speaking of taxiways, the four rapid exit taxiways, or RETs, have recently been paved. This cutting-edge design will allow aircraft to leave the runway quickly, optimizing runway utilization and improving traffic flow. Another innovation is the slipform paver machine, a first for an Australian airport, which has greatly increased efficiency in apron construction. Building on such a vast, uneven site presented a colossal challenge. To prepare the terrain, engineers moved an astonishing 26 million cubic meters of soil, enough to fill over 10,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. These massive earthworks required cuts and fills up to 15 meters deep, reshaping the landscape to create a level foundation. Sustainability was at the forefront of the project. The earthworks were recognized internationally with an Environmental Excellence Award for Erosion Control in 2022 by the International Erosion Control Association. This was critical as the area faced record-breaking rainfall and flooding during construction. Despite the harsh conditions, the team ensured minimal environmental impact. In a groundbreaking move, they diverted 5.5 million tons of excavated sandstone from other Sydney tunneling projects, saving it from landfill. This material was ingeniously repurposed to create a strong foundation layer beneath the runways, taxiways, and apron. The airport's stormwater management is another example of innovative sustainability solutions. Instead of traditional concrete drainage, the project features grass channels, retention basins, and filtering systems that treat runoff naturally before it's released into the surrounding creeks. These systems not only uphold environmental standards, but also provide a smart solution for dust control during construction. Excess water collected in the basins was used on site, minimizing the need for fresh water. With smart water management and sustainable construction practices, the airport sets a new benchmark for responsible development. But getting to the airport is just as crucial as its functionality. Luckily, an extensive transport network is being developed to seamlessly connect Western Sydney International to the city and its surrounding suburbs. The Western Sydney Infrastructure Plan promises smooth access with a new East-West M12 motorway that will whisk travelers directly to the airport. Existing routes like the Northern Road and Bringley Road are also undergoing major upgrades with widening projects to handle the increased traffic flow. But road access is just one piece of the puzzle. An ambitious rail project, the Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport Line, is in the works. This will connect the airport with St. Mary's Station to the north and the planned Badgeries Creek Aerotropolis to the south. For those coming from areas like Penrith, Liverpool and Campbelltown, Dedicated express bus routes will provide a quick and convenient link to the airport. This integrated transport network guarantees that getting to Western Sydney International Airport will be smooth and stress-free. This mega-project is a bold vision, featuring innovative engineering and the drive to transform air travel in Australia. If you found this journey informative, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn those notifications on for more exciting updates.